This is Rhonda Brooks with Farm Journal Media. I'm here today in South Central Michigan with Missy Bauer, Associate Field Agronomist for Farm Journal. Missy, what are we talking about today in terms of um, corn growth? Well, what we're doing today is just identifying the growth stage of the corn. So early in the season, it's very important to know what the growth stage of the corn is, especially if you're having to go in and start to do some post-emergence herbicides. A lot of the labels will have restrictions based on the growth stage. So the system that we use is called the V-stage or counting collars. And what we're going to look for is where the first, what we call the true first leaf is. And it's always going to be a leaf that's rounded. So you can see this particular leaf here, it's a smaller leaf and it's more round, rounded versus the second leaf is a longer leaf and kind of more of a pointed leaf. So we always start and look for that first rounded leaf and count the collar. By a collar, what we mean is, is where the leaf attaches to the stem and it makes kind of a lighter band or collar around the stem. So we're going to call those collars. So we're going to count one, two, three, four. So this is a four collar plant or a V4 growth stage. This particular plant here, it's a little bit older, but again, I'm first looking for that first true rounded leaf, which I have right here. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, and in this case, five. So this is actually a five collar or a V5 plant. Now, as these plants get older, once we start getting beyond V5 into V6 and V7, these bottom leaves might start to fall off. So we'll talk about that as the corn matures. We'll do another segment on how to identify it if those bottom leaves are gone. And again, the benefit of doing this, Missy? And again, the reason we want to do this is um, if we're going to be doing any post-emergence herbicides, we need to know the age of this plant. A lot of our labels have restrictions uh, based on, on the herbicides uh, that we're going to be putting on. The other thing is if we're just out in the field and we're doing some evaluations of our stand, if we've got plants that are more than a collar behind from one another, so if we have a, a V5 plant here and a V3 plant here, we're going to end up not counting that as a good harvestable ear plant. So that's another thing why we want to know what that growth stage is.